Alabama has played a central role in the development of both blues and country music. Appalachian folk music, fiddle music, gospel, spirituals, and polka have had local scenes in parts of Alabama. The Tuskegee Institute School of Music established 1931, especially the Tuskegee Choir, is an internationally renowned institution. There are three major modern orchestras, the Mobile Symphony, the Alabama Symphony Orchestra and the Huntsville Symphony Orchestra, the last is the oldest continuously operating professional orchestra in the state, giving its first performance in 1955. State song The state song of Alabama is entitled, "'Alabama". It was written by Julia Tutwiler and composed by Edna Gockel Gusson. It was adopted as the state song in 1931. A state Senate bill was passed 32 to 1 in 2000 to move, "'Alabama" to the status of state anthem, with, "'Stars Fell on Alabama", a song written in 1933 whose most popular release was by Jimmy Buffett in 1972 becoming the new state song, and, "'My Homes in Alabama' 1980 by the country group Alabama would become the state ballad, but the bill failed in the state house, other grassroots efforts to make, "'Sweet Home Alabama' 1974 by Leonard Skinner the state song have also failed but the song's potential official status made a comeback when the state tourism agency chose the song as the centerpiece of its 2008 marketing campaign Topic recording studios Muscle Shoals, Alabama is renowned worldwide as one of the epicenters of the music industry having been the birthplace of a number of classic recordings the studios of the Muscle Shoals area Florence, Sheffield, Muscle Shoals, and Tuscumbia figure prominently in the history of rock, country and R&B through the 1960s, 70s and 80s. Fame Studios, Muscle Shoals Sound Studios, Wishbone Studios, Quinby Studios, East Avalon Recorders, Clearday Studio, and others have recorded local musicians and international superstars alike. Notable artists have included Aretha Franklin, Rolling Stones, Leonard Skinner, Otis Redding, Wilson Pickett, Bob Dylan, Paul Simon, Rod Stewart, Willie Nelson, Hank Williams Jr., Roy Orbison, and countless others have recorded there. The notable studio house bands include the Muscle Shoals Rhythm Section, the Swampers, the Muscle Shoals Horns, and the Fame Gang. Though not as popular a recording center as before, Muscle Shoals continues to be an important contributor to American popular music and is home to a number of the world's most successful songwriters, musicians and producers. Single Lock Records currently operates a recording studio, record label, and performance venue in the area. The Hangout Music Festival is an annual three-day music festival held at the public beaches of Gulf Shores, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Halls of Fame The Alabama Music Hall of Fame was created by the Alabama State Legislature as a state agency in 1980. A 12,500 square foot 1,200 square meters exhibit hall opened in Tuscumbia in 1990. The Alabama Jazz Hall of Fame is located in Birmingham, housed in the historic Carver Theater. It was founded in 1978 and opened a museum in 1993. <laughs> Styles of music Topic: Indigenous music. 
Topic popular music Many artists in the realms of rock, country, rhythm and blues and pop have emerged from Alabama over the past 50 years, including Wilson Pickett, Tony Tenniel, Percy Sledge, Tommy Shaw of Styx, Martha Reeves of Martha and the Vandellas, the Southern Rock, Pop, R&B band Wet Willie, the rock band Brother Kane, the power pop band Hotel of Birmingham, Bill McCorvey of the country band Pirates of the Mississippi, and songwriter, producer Walt Aldridge. The Commodores and their former front man Lionel Richie both hail from Tuskegee. Richie attended Tuskegee University. Rick Hall, founder of Fame Studios in Muscle Shoals, is a well known producer of classic R&B, pop, country music from the 1960s through the 1980s. The Birmingham area has had more than its fair share of American Idol contestants do well, including second season winner Reuben Studdard, who played football for Alabama A&M University, fourth season runner-up Bo Bice, and fifth season winner Taylor Hicks, who attended Auburn University. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Blues and Jazz. W. C. Handy, often referred to as the father of the blues, was born and raised in Florence, Alabama, which since 1982 holds an annual W. C. Handy Music Festival, to preserve, present, and promote the musical heritage of Northwest Alabama. The festival is usually held in the summer, and cake and other foods are typically served. Piedmont and country blues singer, guitarist, and songwriter Ed Bell was born near Fort Deposit. Though born in Fraser, a community in North Memphis, Tennessee, Johnny Shines, blues singer and guitarist, moved to Holt, Alabama, in Tuscaloosa County, in 1969, where he lived until he died. Shines died on April 20, 1992, in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. One, he was inducted into the Blues Hall of Fame later the same year. Alabama has a rich jazz heritage, being the birthplace of such greats as Lionel Hampton, Erskine Hawkins, Nat King Cole, Cleveland Eaton, James Reese Europe, Cootie Williams, William Manuel Johnson, Irby Green, Ward Swingle, Cow Cow Davenport, members of Take Six, and many more. Tubist Howard Johnson of the Saturday Night Live Band hails from Montgomery. The Museum of the Alabama Jazz Hall of Fame honors many of these fine musicians. In the 1930s and 40s, college dance bands, such as the Alabama Cavaliers, the Auburn Knights and the Barma State Collegians played an important role in the history of jazz in the South. Birmingham, Alabama boasts several active big bands, including the Superjazz Big Band, the Joe Giattina Orchestra, the Night Flight Big Band and the Magic City Jazz Orchestra, founded and directed by Ray Reach. In addition, there is a world-class horn section, the Tuscaloosa Horns, comprising some of Alabama's finest jazz, soul, funk instrumentalists. Also the newest, youngest breakout big band in Alabama which incorporates everything from Duke Ellington to Bob Marley, the New South Jazz Orchestra which prominently features the Tuscaloosa Horns and the composing, arranging skills of members of the Tuscaloosa Horns. Ward Swingle, world-famous multiple Grammy Award-winning jazz vocal composer and pianist, hails from Mobile. Birmingham contributed prominently to the history of jazz in America. It is the hometown of numerous influential jazz musicians, including bassist Cleveland Eaton, pianist and vocalist Ray Reach, guitarist Johnny Smith, trumpeter and bandleader Erskine Hawkins, trumpeter and arranger Tommy Stewart, trumpeter Nelson Williams, composer Hugh Martin, arranger Sammy Lowe, bandleader Sun Ra, vibraphonist and bandleader Lionel Hampton, singer and guitarist Odetta, John Propst pianist for Pete Fountain and Boots Randolph, and many more. Historical areas such as Tuxedo Junction and the 4th Avenue Historic District played an important role in the evolution of jazz in Birmingham and the United States. <laughs> Gospel Gospel music has an especially long tradition in the state, among both the white and black populations. Given the strongly religious coloring of Alabama's population historically, the genre is one example of many shared phenomena between the historically segregated cultures of the state. 
It should be noted that the two traditions are, however, distinct, and entail key distinctions, with Southern gospel incorporating elements of bluegrass and country music more strongly than «black» gospel. Celtic The state also has a Celtic music scene, which has produced bands like Henry's Notions, After Class, and the Birmingham-based harpist Cynthia Douglas, as well as a number of piping bands and promotional Celtic organisations. <laughs> Sacred Harp Alabama is the leading state for sacred harp singing. More annual singings are held in Alabama than in any other state. The Sacred Harp, revised Cooper edition, a version of the Sacred Harp used across the southern parts of Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and Texas, is published by the Sacred Harp Book Company of Sampson, Alabama. The Sacred Harp, Shape Note Music and Cultural Center is located in Bessemer, Alabama. Topic: Country, bluegrass, and old-time music. The state of Alabama has a rich history in country, bluegrass, and old-time music. The influence of Mississippi Delta blues to the west and the ancient sounds of Appalachian folk music to the north blend with native jazz sounds to form a brand of country music with a unique Alabama flavor. Country music may be recorded in Nashville, but it was born in the heart of Dixie." Will Vincent, Tall Pines Bluegrass. North Alabama's contribution to bluegrass music over the years has been exceptional. From former, "...bluegrass boys," Rule Yarbrough and Jake Landers, mandolin virtuoso Herschel Sizemore, fiddling legend Al Lester and the incomparable Claire Lynch, to modern-day country star-turned-bluegrass artist Marty Raybon, the list goes on and on. Probably one of the most well-known musicians to ever hail from Alabama is Hank Williams Sr., born in Georgiana. Hank's hits include, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry, Lost Highway, and Jambalaya on the bayou. Hank and his wife Audrey are both buried in Oakwood Cemetery in Montgomery where the Hank Williams Museum resides downtown. A section of Interstate 65 between Georgiana and Montgomery was commemorated the Lost Highway in memory of Williams in 1997. Other notable residents include Jimmy Buffett, though born in Pascagoula, Mississippi, grew up in the Mobile area. Country star Tammy Wynette was born on the Mississippi-Alabama line. The Louvan brothers were pioneers of tight harmony country and bluegrass vocalizations. Vern Gosdin is another influential country music legend who came from the state of Alabama. Emmy Lou Harris was born in Birmingham. Shenandoah from Muscle Shoals became major stars. The group Alabama from Fort Payne is often credited with bringing country music groups as opposed to solo vocalists into the mainstream, paving the way for the success of today's top country groups. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Musicians from Alabama. Topic members of the Alabama Music Hall of Fame Alabama band country superstar band, based in Fort Payne Ernest Ashworth country star and a member of the Grand Ole Opry for 44 years. Known for his hit Talk Back Trembling Lips from Huntsville, Alabama Nat King Cole, jazz and R&B musician, songwriter, born in Montgomery D. The Commodores, soul, funk group formed in Tuskegee had two number one Hot 100 hits, like Three Times a Lady in 1978. William Levi Dawson, composer, organizer of the Tuskegee School of Music, from Anniston, Alabama Delmore Brothers, from Elkmont, Alabama Cleveland Eaton, jazz bassist, veteran of the Count Basie Orchestra and the Ramsey Lewis Trio, from Birmingham, Alabama Joe L. Frank, country music promoter from Mount Rosal Rick Hall, record producer from Franklin County W.C.
Handy, father of the blues, born in Florence Erskine Hawkins, big band leader Sonny James, early country star, born in Hacklebug James Joyner, founder of Tune Recording Studio, songwriter, from Florence Jamie Johnson, singer, songwriter, and ACM and CMA Award winner from Enterprise Jim Neighbors, actor and singer of standards and gospel, born in Silacorga. Attended the University of Alabama Jake Hess, gospel singer from Limestone County Buddy Killen, record producer and founder of Dial Records, executive at Tree Publishing Louvan Brothers, influential close harmony group, from section Chuck Level, keyboardist, former member of the Allman Brothers Band, sideman for Eric Clapton and the Rolling Stones Muscle Shoals Rhythm Section, renowned studio band, consisting of Jimmy Johnson, guitar, Roger Hawkins, drums, David Hood, bass, and Barry Beckett, keyboards Dan Penn, singer, songwriter and record producer, from Vernon Sam Phillips, founder of Sun Records, born in Florence Curly Putman, songwriter from Princeton Martha Reeves, Motown lead singer, born in U Fowler Jimmy Rogers, early country star, born in Geiger D. Billy Sherrill, country producer, with 74 top 10 hits, born in Phil Campbell Percy Sledge 1960s soul star, born in Leighton Diner Washington, jazz and blues singer, born in Tuscaloosa Jerry Wexler, New Yorker with Atlantic Records, responsible for the rise of Muscle Shoals John T. Fess Watley, music educator, worked with the Jazz Demons, the first jazz band in Birmingham Hank Williams, country music pioneer. Born in Georgiana, D. 1953, buried in Montgomery Tammy Wynette, country singer, lived in Red Bay D. Tommy Shaw American guitarist, singer, songwriter, rock bands Damn Yankees and Styx. Born in Prattville, Alabama Other musicians from Alabama See also List of songs about Alabama List of songs about Birmingham, Alabama WLAY AM.